I've been monitoring wading birds for going on about 17 years now, and during my March survey flight this year, I saw thousands of white ibis setting up to nest. I've never seen that before. In fact, there were so many, I felt like sort of a deer in the headlights. I couldn't even count them. So I went back later and looked at the photos I'd taken and talked with some of our cooperators who also monitor wading birds in South Florida. And we decided that there were 10,000 ibis nesting at the Broad River Colony and at least 15,000 at the Cabbage Bay Colony. We haven't seen that kind of nesting in Everglades National Park since the 1940s. There were wood storks, rosia spoonbills, great egrets, snowy egrets, white ibis, um, little blue herons, and tricolored herons. The reason we think that these big super colonies have settled in the park is that we've had really high water. That's due to better water management for the park, but also partially thanks to Mother Nature. We actually had a really wet, dry season. And then following that, we had tropical storm-like rainfall and Hurricane Irma. So we had really high water, and more water produces more fish, which equals more bird food. We then had a really slow, gradual dry down going into the bird nesting season, and the dry down made the fish really easily available to the birds. It's a great spot where Shark River Slough and its freshwater meets the brackish water. So it creates this really unique environment with the sawgrass meeting the mangroves. And the freshwater from there goes out to Florida Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. But it's a great spot for wading birds because they have two places where they can look for food. They can go into Shark River Slough and look for freshwater fish and crayfish. And they're also going out to the west coast and looking for crabs and brackish aquatic prey and fish that live out there. So the young ibis are just fledging now. They're just learning how to fly. They're flapping around the trees, kind of clumsy. They're ready to go off on their own. Wading birds are really resilient. And the sign that they're giving us is that if we get the water right, they will return. As avian biologists working on Everglades restoration, this is one of the targets that we're looking for. We want to see these big white ibis nesting events like this, these super colonies. It's just really amazing to see. <laughs>